Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. My name's Shane. You can follow me on Twitter, at smthomas3. You can also go to codekarate.com and sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. Okay, we're on episode number 57 today of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are going to look at the path Pathologic module. This is a very simple module. Who has, It just has a few simple purposes. Uh, if you read here, it's an input filter that can be used in Drupal. And it, what it does is it allows you to handle moved websites or broken links, especially ha as it has to do with RSS feeds. If you use relative links rather than the absolute links, I noticed this problem actually on my blog recently in one of my previous posts where I had a relative image I believe it was in one of these past posts here I had a relative image link or the link to the image was based on a relative path rather than an absolute path so when it pulled into the Drupal planet feed the image was broken this module is designed to solve that problem I'm going to show you on a Drupal 7 site today how it can work it's it's a little bit hard to demonstrate exactly how it works, but I'm going to show you how to get it installed and get it working. So the first thing we're going to do is hop into our command line and download the module. So go ahead and download it and enable it. Yeah, you can see if we come in here and we search for it has been downloaded and enabled. We're going to go ahead and go to the configuration page and we're going to go into, if you follow the directions, there is a complete installation and configuration guide here which tells you some of the use cases. It can go into a little bit more detail and it tells you how to install this module. So we'll go ahead and hop back over to the website, which for some reason seems to be taking an extremely long time to load the configuration page, but there it goes. We'll click on text formats. We're going to go into our filtered HTML and hit configure. And we're going to click on this enable filter here that says correct URLs with pathologic. As you can see, there's a f it drops it into this filter processing order segment down here. And if you read number three in the installation steps, it says check the box next to pathologic, scroll down, and make sure that it's at the bottom of the list. So go ahead and make sure it's at the bottom, click save, and you are good to go. You can add this on multiple text formats, so if you wanted it on full HTML, you could add it in there as well. But we just added it to the filtered HTML. So as an example of a link that might be broken, let's go ahead and I have two articles here. Because this link here is a relative link, Pathologic is going to help solve this problem. So now it's one of those modules, you pretty much install it and you can forget about it. It just knows how to handle relative links and if you end up moving your website with and you have absolute links or you have relative links and it's pulling through an RSS feed it's going to make sure that those get pulled through correctly. And just to show you an example of how this works we're going to go ahead and come in here and turn off the pathologic quickly. So we're going to turn this off save the configuration. We will then go ahead and save this article. And if we come back to the home page, click on this RSS feed, you'll notice that there's this link to test article. You notice that it's all it has the special characters or the less than greater than signs and quote signs are broken out, but it has this relative link here. And this can cause problems for for the RSS readers and anything that may import your articles or posts. So we're going to go ahead and turn this back on. Save this. And now 
as I refresh, you'll notice now it has the entire path. So it converts that relative path to an absolute path. If You'll notice if you come in here, it's still set as a relative path here, but this input format and this pathologic module will convert that to the absolute path when it goes through any RSS feed or anything like that to make sure you're in good hands and your links and images will not be broken anymore. So that's it. Pathologic, very simple module. Useful though. So go ahead and give it a try, especially if you have a problem similar to the one that I had. And let me know what you think. That's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. We'll be back again tomorrow. As always, follow me on Twitter at smthomas3 and please sign up for the Code Karate newsletter if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.